Okay, so kind of having like a mind-blowing moment. You know, I've had people ask me over the last uh, about a year, why did you reconnect your faith with God? You know, why do you talk about it so much? And the best way to describe it is because he has been there when I have been at my lowest points and when I didn't feel a strong support system. And I feel him moving through me now in life. That's the best way to describe it. Like when you have faith in a power that's more than you, it shows and your life changes. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because I just got done with the first part of the day that I had to MC, And it's only the second time that I have shared my story about my upbringing, about the fact that I don't talk to my family anymore, about the struggles that I've had to overcome and I was just in my power doing my thing, you know? And I, I didn't even question if anybody was connecting, if anybody was listening. I didn't even tap into any anxiety that I was feeling of nerves. I just stepped into my role and I did it. And the reaction I got, I can't even put into words. I mean, there were women that were coming up to me with tears in their eyes, you know, from moving them from what I was talking about. And one woman in particular came up to me and she said, you know, Amber, she's like, I've been estranged from my family for 10 years and I have never in my life heard someone talk about not talking to their family and disconnecting from them. She's like, it's just not something people talk about. And I said, that's because people don't understand unless you've been in a situation where you come from in an environment where you need to disconnect from people who are not good for your life, people don't understand. I said, my family still doesn't understand. You know what I mean? Like there's such a disconnect. People just don't get it. But that hit me. Like as much as I impacted her, she impacted me because she knows what I have gone through and what I still sometimes go through. And then there was another woman who came up to me and said, do you know how courageous it is that you stood up in front of 350 people and talked about mental illness? My battle with anxiety. I said, I still battle with it even this week. You know, I used to run from it because I was afraid, I was embarrassed. But then you just step back and you accept who you are at 100%, it doesn't matter. It's just a part of me, it doesn't define me. And it's just, it's a really emotional experience because when you put yourself out there and you connect to people and you move them to emotion, There's no words to really describe that. You know, I used to be so confused on why this was my life and why people never understood me and why I was the reason for everything. And then you just go through life and you expand and you grow and you want more and you trust your visions and you realize that it wasn't you. And you just find a new way of life. And you find the people who want to be in your life. And you trust God. And I know that I was created to do this, to impact people. And it's just, it's, I don't even know, I can't even put it into words. I can just cry about it because <laughs> I'm an emotional person. I actually had um, people used to tell me like, you're too emotional. Why are you always crying? Because that's how I release. You know, when you have so much inside of you, you just, you need to release it. And that's how I handle it. I let tears come out. So, but anyways, I will wrap this up. I just wanted to share this experience because if you can connect to this on any way, know that you're not alone, that there are people out there who go through the same troubles as you, may not be the exact same situation, but there are people out there who know what you're going through and you're not alone. You just have to find the right circle of people to surround yourself with and know that you're not crazy and that you deserve the very best in life and you deserve to live your best self. And um, yeah, I'm just very grateful that people can connect and understand and feel emotion. Sorry, my nose is running. <laughs> um, that is what makes me 
wake up and do what I do every day because I love impacting people because I have a story to tell and I'm sharing it you know and it's not gonna make people happy and I probably will get even more text messages than I've gotten before um, of outrage but it's my story to tell and it's my life and it's been a wild ride that's for sure <laughs> but I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world because those struggles made me the woman I am today. So happy Friday to you. Sorry for the uh, tears and the uh, drippy nose. But uh, I'm at the hotel room. And uh, now I am relaxing before I go and speak to the dinner crew. So uh, have a great weekend. And don't forget to be awesome. And trust in yourself. Trust who you are. Because you are the one that you have to deal with at the end of the day. All right, bye.